Hi friends, Baiju's exam prep brings to you 10 legal questions for Maharashtra CET Law 2023 Part 1. In this session, I shall be discussing about 10 important constitutional knowledge-based questions. Let us understand how much of constitution do you know? But before that, Baiju's exam prep brings to you a free workshop on time management tips for CLAT and boards together. So, yes, keeping in mind that you will be appearing for CLAT and boards together, how do you manage your time? It's going to happen on 12th of February at 7 p.m. The first question, the Indian constitution came to be enforced on which of the following date? 15th August 1947, that is the Independence Day. 26 January 1950, 26 November 1949 or none of the above? The correct answer is 26 January 1950. It was on 26 January 1950 we celebrated just a couple of days back the Republic Day. The Republic Day was the day on which our constitution came to be legally enforced. Moving on to the next question. The constitution refers our motherland as what? Okay, India is known as what? What are the, uh, what is the other name? for India given under the constitution. Is it Bharat Varsh? Is it Hindustan? Is it India? That is Bharat. None of the above. And the correct answer again is India that is Bharat. The constitution of India categorically states that India can also be referred as Bharat. Keep that in your mind. So the correct answer is option C, India that is Bharat. Moving on to question number three. Who was the first speaker of the Lok Sabha? The first speaker of the Lok Sabha. Om Birla is the present speaker of the Lok Sabha. Who was the first speaker of the Lok Sabha? It was Mr. Malvalenkar. Mr. Malvalenkar was the first speaker of the Lok Sabha. Ganesh Vasudev Malvalenkar. Okay, so the correct answer again is option A. I hope you guys are taking note of these important questions. Moving on to question number four. The term liberty, equality and fraternity that you see in the preamble of the Indian constitution came to be inserted from which of the following? Is it the American Revolution? the Green Revolution, the French Revolution, or both American Revolution and the Green Revolution? What is the answer? It is from the French Revolution. The term liberty, equality and fraternity that we find mentioned in our preamble to the Indian Constitution has come from the French Revolution. The correct answer is option C. Moving on. To question number five, who administers oath to the president of India? So when a new president comes to office, who administers oath to the president of India? Is it the speaker of the Lok Sabha? Is it the prime minister? Is it the vice president of India? Or is it the chief justice of India? The correct answer again is option D, the chief justice of India. The present Chief Justice of India is Justice D.Y. Chandrachur. And the present President of India happens to be Srimati Draupadi Murmu. Do remember that. Okay. So the correct answer over here is the Chief Justice of India administers oath to the President of India. Moving on to question number six. Who appoints the Comptroller and Auditor General of India? The Union Cabinet, the Prime Minister in consultation with the Leader of Opposition in the Lok Sabha, President of India or the Union Public Service Commission. The Comptroller and Auditor General of India 
is a constitutional authority and that authority is appointed by the president of india the correct answer is option c president of india the president of india appoints the controller and auditor general of india moving on to the next question question number seven the concept of judicial review now what do you mean by judicial review the power of the courts rather power of constitutional courts to strike down a legislation now the parliament passes a law if that law is violative of the basic structure of the indian constitution the constitutional courts that is the high courts and the supreme court is well within its limits or has the jurisdiction to strike down a legislation now this concept of judicial review has come to the indian context from which constitution is it the british constitution the french constitution the german constitution or from the united states constitution and the correct answer is united states constitution okay the famous case of mudbury versus madison okay so the correct answer over here is option d moving on to question number eight a person arrested in india is required to be produced before the nearest magistrate within how many hours 48 hours 24 hours 72 hours or 36 hours a person who is arrested okay or has been detained by an authority in India has to be produced before the magistrate within 24 hours. It is a requirement under the law that police has to produce a person arrested with the nearest magistrate within a period of 24 hours. Moving on to question number nine. How many fundamental duties are there in the Indian constitution? And the correct answer is 11. It's a very simple question. Option C is the right answer. Moving on to question number 10. Contempt of court places a restriction on which of the following fundamental rights? Now, we all know that contempt of court means disregard to an order of the court. Now, if a person has committed contempt of court, he can be punished under the law. There's Contempts of Court Act as well as the Constitution of India. Now, contempt of court places a restriction on which of your fundamental right? Right to freedom. Now, suppose a person criticizes a judge. Okay, He says a judge, Mr. X judge is a corrupt man. Now, you can criticize a judgment that is well within your fundamental right of freedom of speech and expression you have a right to criticize the judgment but you cannot make ulterior motive against any individual judge that means you are attacking the judiciary the contempt of court places a restriction on your right to freedom of speech and expression you cannot say anything and everything that you feel like for example, defamation, right? So the correct answer is option C. So guys, I hope you understood the 10 questions that I have discussed. Baiju's exam prep brings to you a comprehensive course for CLAT 2024. We shall, uh, we shall give you 300 plus recorded videos across five sections, 300 plus hours of live classes, 35 mock tests for CLAT and other non-CLAT exam along with video solutions, monthly e-magazine on current affairs and the entire content is based on the analysis of the past years of CLAT question paper. So guys, hurry up and join. Friends, do subscribe to our YouTube channel Follow us on our Instagram, like our Facebook page, join our Telegram channel and do not forget to download the app. Thank you. All the best. God bless you.
Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.